In this video, we'll learn how to add a texture to any photo in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to the photos that I'll be using in the video description. First, let's just keep it simple and add a texture to a plain colored background. This is something that I'd usually do to create a cool background and then I'd probably add some text over the top. So here, let's go ahead and start by going up to Layer, and then I'll add a new fill layer. Now this new fill layer can be any color that you'd like. I think I'll go ahead and make mine a nice blue color. All right, and then we can go ahead and add our texture on top of this. So I have my texture one right here. I want to bring this over into our document, so I'm going to copy this with Command or Control C. Then I'll paste it with Command or Control V. So there are a lot of ways to blend two layers together to get the look you want. And I think the easiest place to start is by going up here to Blend Modes. You can just scroll through these and see how all of these different blend modes would affect these two layers. Now there's no right answer to this. Depending on the look you want, you might choose a totally different one than me, but I think I'm going to go with multiply for this. I like that it blends the color with this texture so nicely. So I think this looks pretty good. Once you have a blend mode that you like, you might want to change the look of this a little more. Keep in mind that I usually add text over an image like this, and having too much texture might look a little bit distracting. So I think I want to lower the opacity and maybe add a little bit of blurring to help soften the look of this. So first let's try opacity. With the texture layer still selected, I'll go ahead and lower this down. You can see how that's blending with the color layer. That looks pretty good. And then you might also want to soften the look by adding a blur. So I'll go down to our filters and then I'll apply a Gaussian blur. Then we can increase the radius. And I think I just want to blur this a little bit. And make sure you check on Preserve Alpha to preserve the edges. And I think this looks pretty good for putting text over the top. Now, one last thing that I want to point out is that the texture image that we used had color on it. You might remember we had reds and blues and yellows. And it's kind of coming through here, you can see that. If you'd prefer not to see that, a simple fix is just to make this texture layer unsaturated. And we can do this very quickly by adding an HSL adjustment. I'll just make this a child layer to the texture. And then I can lower the saturation. And you can see that those areas with multiple colors disappear. Now, if you liked those colors, feel free to keep them. You could even increase them if you wanted but I think I'll lower mine a little bit like that. And there we have it, a beautiful background that you can put any text over the top of. So now that we've done this example, I want to show you one more example because the technique is slightly different if you want to add a texture over a photo. So here's the photo that I chose. I like that it already looks a little bit moody with the soft overcast lighting in the sky and I think adding texture to this will really enhance this moody look. So first, let's add in a texture. I have texture number two right here, and I'll just copy this with Command or Control C. Then I'll paste it in with Command or Control V. Then I'll just grab the Move tool so that we can increase the size and adjust where it's positioned. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So with this first one, let's start by changing the blend mode right here. You can see how these different blend modes interact with the photo. Ooh, definitely not those ones. Okay, I think I actually liked some of these darker ones up here. I think I'll go with multiply again for this one. So I think this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and add another texture to this. You can pile on as many different texture layers as you want to get the look that you want. So I'm just going to copy this with Command or Control C. 
and then I'll paste it in with Command or Control V. And again, with the Move tool, I'll just increase the size. This takes up the whole space. And then I can go over here to Blend Modes and adjust the Blend Mode. So I actually think I really like Color Burn. I like that the blue color of this texture is really coming through. And you can see how the wavy lines of this texture are affecting the sky. Here's the before and after. It's adding a lot of moodiness up here. It makes the sky look more intense. Now, as much as I like how this looks, I think that the shadows are getting very dark and I'd like to remove it from the shadows just a little bit. Now, this is actually pretty easy to do with blend ranges. So with this texture layer selected, I'll click on this gear icon right here. And here we have our highlights and our shadows. I want to remove this from the shadows, so I'll lower the shadows node down. You can see that we can see the detail in the shadows again. Before, it was fully flat and it really didn't look good, but now I think that looks pretty nice. I think I'll even move it over a little bit more to reduce it from the shadows. So now we have a texture that's mainly affecting the highlights in the sky. Here's the before and after. As one last tip, I just want to point out that sometimes a texture can be distracting to certain areas of a photo. In this example, I don't really like how much texture is covering his face, and I want to remove that. So let's see which layer is doing that. Okay, so it looks like it's the first texture. To remove this part of the texture from his face, I'm going to add a mask to this texture. And then I'll grab the paintbrush. And I can paint in black paint to remove this texture from his face. I'm using a low flow and a very soft brush so that I can gradually remove this texture. And now his face looks like it's glowing a little bit, so I think I'm actually going to paint in white paint again. And with a really big brush, I'll just click once. That way his face is still blending in with the texture, but it's not covering his face as much. Okay, I think this looks really good. I'm just going to select both of these layers so that we can see the complete before and after. And there we have it. Now you know how to add textures to photos in Affinity Photo. Great work. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.